Hey guys, welcome to another quickie makeup review. I am terribly sorry I have not been posting. The thing was my computer, the sound output decided not to work. Had to take it a Best Buy, leave it overnight. And finally, my computer is working. Um, you may notice my hair looks different. Yes, I have spent all day <laughs> doing this to my hair. Um, the goal was purple, but it kind of came out fuchsia pink instead. Oh well, it's still cool. I like it. Um, not wearing any makeup. Does it matter? No. No, because natural beauty is also beautiful. Remember that. Okay, so there's a new brand called the Creme Shop at uh, CVS, at least. I think it's only CVS right now. I don't know if Walgreens has it. I just discovered this. Very cute packaging going on. My wand and only. All right, so these are matte liquid lipsticks. Um, they say that there's no cracking, no feathering. Applies as a liquid and dries in a velvety matte finish. So we will be checking that out. I have nine colors with me there's supposed to be 10 so there was probably one that wasn't there okay um these are kind of pricey though 8.99 each so we will be seeing if it's worth it um they had other things they had a lot of highlighters going on like every purple blue pink white like just a ton of highlighters they had um, these interesting eyeshadow palettes that were like this big, just huge, with only four colors, but the pants were like that big. That is really cool, except I found the colors to be very boring for a product that looks very colorful and is new. I was like, geez, these colors aren't really, you know, popping for me you know i kind of expected a little more glitter a little more brightness they were just you know light colors or dark matte colors and the pants were really huge and i'm like well you know i maybe i'll do another uh video on those we're gonna see if i like the lips the lipsticks if i do Actually, even if I don't, I'll still try it. But yeah, they had a lot of highlighters. Um, not that many choices for eyeshadow and a lot of brow choices. Um, I am not a brow person. I really, I just go into my little black eyeshadow with my, um, with my brush and I just kind of line them and good to go now i'm not sure if i should do my eyebrows pink or black so that should be interesting um but yeah uh let's give it let's give this a go let's let's get right to it
Okay, so final thoughts. I feel like some of the colors are very similar to each other. Like um, the two dark reds, I think one is dark red, one is um, like a more orangey red. But to me, they look so similar. The hot pink looks very similar to another pink. I think the shade range is so-so. Um, I feel like for something called the creme shop, there should be like um, purples and pastel colors, you know, going on. Um, they do glide on wonderfully. I am agreeing with the wand, that their wand is the only wand. Um, I, I do love the smell. It smells so good, like a, a cupcake or something. Um, transfer proof? So-so. Let me try that again. Eh, little bits and pieces, you know. Not too bad, it does dry down within like two seconds. Very matte, I'm loving it. It comes off easily though, like, um, yeah. It does come off rather easily. So I'm not sure if it's uh, kiss proof. I'll have to try that eventually. Um, but all in all, I do really like them. They're really fun. Um, the packaging on the outside is super cute. And then, like, on the inside, it's kind of just... They literally remind me of the Huda ones. Okay, hold on. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, I am back. Okay, so Huda and Creme. Literally almost super similar, like the same glass, you know, and the same black top. Um, this is the wand for the creme shop and the wand for Huda is just a tad bigger and a little messier, but here is the thing, the packaging not only looks the same, but um, the creme shop smells like cupcakes and Huda smells like chocolate. So they're both kind of uh, right there. <laughs> I think you could probably find the same colors for um, the creme shop in the Huda ones. But here's the thing, these could probably be dupes for the Huda ones. Because they are $8.99 and Huda is way more expensive. Except for this one that I got for 2 bucks. I got the fake Hudas. But I'm pretty sure that there could be similar colors. Um, so I would watch out for that and maybe replace. Maybe. I don't know. I really do love Huda. But... Interesting. I like the packaging. I like the colors. I think there should be more interesting colors. They have so many interesting colors for highlights. Why not get that going with the um with the lippies? Why not go for purples and pastels and you know just kind of wow us. Smell is good. Price $8.99 I think is rather expensive, but it is matte. The colors are pretty. It, you know, it, it's not really transfer proof, but I think, you know, my work. So I'm liking these. Why not? Let's let's all try them. Let me know if you like them. If you've tried them, I will post down below the names in the order in which I swatched. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.